to do the sound it's... check. So, Lucy, do do your thing. Maria, Maria. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Welcome back, everybody, to another super exciting episode of Two Guys, One Move. And we are joined by the super awesome Mama Comic. Hey. How are you? I'm good, good. <clears throat> Freaking Good. hot. It's freaking hot over here, so uh, I'm melting. Yeah. <laughs> Everywhere right now. I just yeah. uh, wanted I wanted to kick off real quick with the already fuck up that we did. Um, so <laughs> the time difference oh, yeah. apparently happened in my head. So right now, uh, Eastern time, it's uh, 10, 14 p.m. Oh, shit. I, when I talked to uh, Mama Comic here to set this up, she was like, yeah, 7 p.m. After 7 p.m. I'm like, okay, yeah, 7 p.m. I forgot about the time change. <laughs> so that kind of put a damper in the plans, but that's okay. We're sorry, guys. Very, sorry. Very, very, no, no, no. <laughs> I would stay up until three in the morning to get you on the show. We are very, Aww, very happy to have yeah, you. Yeah, man. Thank you so much for joining us in our, yeah. our fuckery for the next hour. <laughs> <laughs> no, thank you guys for inviting me. Thank you. Absolutely. I'm, very, I'm pretty honored. <laughs> oh, I'm so excited. This is our 20th episode, so this is a that is? milestone. Congratulations. Thank you. I'm just so I'm happy. In, go ahead. I'm still in the middle of number 19. Okay. Oh, I actually, you actually it. watched the show. I was going to say, because it's funny, because yeah. we have a guest on the show that doesn't even watch it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no. Well, okay. I'm in. I'm actually in episode six. But I have, oh my since, God. You guys were, since you guys were like talking about number 19, I started watching 19. But then I need to go back and finish the rest. But... You know, with the kids and everything, it's hard you know, oh my to, God. to listen to it. And, mm -hmm. you know, uh, when I'm cleaning and whatever, I'm listening to to you guys. Awesome. <laughs> oh, we appreciate it for sure. Yeah, it's fun. All right. So what are we doing today, Mr. Sweet Shirt Brando? Oh, yes. By the Come way, on. first and foremost, I got to show off this awesome shirt that Fuzz got me. It's, it's our promo yeah. shirt. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> And also, big shout That's out so to cool. um, big shout out to uh, Shangji China for sending me this hat, this new hat that I got that says "Daddy." <laughs> so, <laughs> thank you, Daddy China. Hat. No, so, funny. is that a dad hat though? I don't know. I just literally typed in hat that says "Daddy" on it. Is it no, that I show mean, like... "Go Daddy" or what is it called? Dad, call me Daddy or whatever. Have you guys seen that show? No. 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 Oh, it's a podcast of two girls, and they talk. I they have drama, so I guess it's not two girls anymore. But I know they. It, I think it, it calls uh, call him daddy or something like that. I don't know. Wow. Something dumb. But uh, I, honestly, I got this hat because Fuzz calls me booty daddy. I do. <laughs> I absolutely do. <laughs> no, they have these styles of hats now. They they're called dad hats, and the reason I guess they're a dad hat is the back of the hat. It's not a uh, a snapback. It's like a it's adjustable. A and yeah, it's an adjustable my strap. Yeah, my husband has those. <laughs> yeah, apparently I, I didn't even know that was the thing, but apparently they're called dad hats. Mm-hmm. Because yeah. I, I have to have it either ha like when I wear hats, it has to either be a a fitted hat or it has to be a snapback. And like I've seen a lot of really cool hats, and then I turn it around, and I'm like, no, I can't deal with that strap shit. <laughs> okay, yeah, uh, I love. I can only do. I only do snapbacks because like my okay. my head fluctuates size all the time. <laughs> I don't know. Why. <laughs> what a weirdo! <laughs> <laughs> I know totally. Oh, speaking of uh, name calling, um, <sighs> I want to dive into something real quick with Lucy because this was this made me laugh. So. We're going to finally fucking set the record straight once and for all that we call each other ho all the time. I, oh. I say, well, see, I, it starts with my sister-in-law, okay? Oh. She says ho a lot for everything, and we call everybody ho. <laughs> and I say ho a lot. And I don't know if you have noticed, sometimes it kind of splits and I call my son like little ho or whatever. <laughs> or when I message somebody and we're talking about somebody, I'm like, oh, this ho. And with my husband, too, we call each other how. <laughs> and it's just the word that just comes out. So one day, uh, Brandon, uh, you know, Brandon Comics over here, he <laughs> said something that was like, you ho. And after that, I'm like, oh, homies, you know, or yeah. 
the hoe is it kind of comes out a lot. I, I just wanted to clarify that because I made the promo picture for this episode and uh, Lucy shared it and somebody was like, yo, is he calling you a hoe? I'm like, how did you not notice I say ho a lot? <laughs> Don't you know me? <laughs> oh, that's awesome. And sometimes when I do lives and my sister-in-law joins, she will say, what's up, ho? Or, hey, ho. Oh, you know, nice. like, if, if I, when we text each other, instead of saying, hey, girl, or hey, our right. days, it's like, hey, ho, bye, ho. So, yeah. It's, so it's um, like, it's like a term of endearment. Like when my wife yeah. is like, hey, fuck face. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It's not like we, I mean it in a bad way. Sometimes okay. it depends what it's, you know, like we're, I was it's... talking about somebody and I'm like, oh, look at this hell, you know, right. but I know I say that a lot and that's Sorry. my sister-in-law's fault. I'm just going to blame her. <laughs> Listen, it's fine. I just wanted to clear the air because also one time she was getting interviewed by another uh, podcast. And I went in there and I said, what's up, ho me? That's what we usually do, H-O hyphen M-I-E. And it came out, ho moo. <laughs> so, <laughs> so I wasn't calling her a ho moo. Or the other variation of that word. So yeah. not at the record straight, here we are. Ho that's so funny. Yeah, that's a funny one, ho moo. That's a funny one. <laughs> I'm using that. Yeah, that's no. It's going to become and, part of my I mean, vocabulary. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, I do. I use that a lot and also you know what now that i've been selling comics and stuff like that when i do sell my paypal i always tell people i'm like lucy's not my first name that's like kind of like my middle name my first right. name like a real mexican like a true <laughs> authentic mexican my first name is maria but i grew up you know people calling me lucy like since i can remember my mom always called me lucy wow. so i'm I always go, you know, so I'm, I always tell them, hey, don't be surprised. My name is Marie. <laughs> you know, just heads up. It's me. <laughs> right. That's awesome. Oh, so, yeah. I go by, by many names, you know. <laughs> I, go by, I go by many names, too, but most of them I'm not saying on this show. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Um, so we actually... <clears throat> have almost no structure to this show right um so we're cool, just gonna cool. i i know you really lucy you really wanted to talk horror which means i'm gonna have to take a back seat because i'm not that much into the <laughs> horror scene right. but um it, it's okay no we'll see my favorite episode so far it's number three because you know i mean it was you know talking about all the comics, the horror comics mm -hmm. and stuff like that. And I was like, yeah. so uh, every comic you were talking about, I was like, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. I like that. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Absolutely, man. Because I, I, I am a big time horror nut uh, myself. Um, so what would you consider like your horror grail? Like, <sighs> what is the if, one old horror book that you just, oh, if oh you could? Oh, goodness. Uh... Oh my god, I'm trying to think because I have few of them. I just picked up a uh, well a while ago a Frankenstein one, and it looks nice. I can't remember them. I, I know it has Frankenstein the name on it, but I can I'm so bad. Like it's definitely like uh, maybe like the '60s or something okay. like that. Yeah, awesome. I, I picked it up in the dollar cool. bin, and oh, yeah. I, I just love the cover. But like my favorite book and i have not been able to finish it because i'm scared even though i love it i'm scared it's infidel you oh ah infidel is great oh, my infidel god it's amazing uh, yeah. i actually yeah. viewed that on one of my hot sauce videos it's mm -hmm. such a good read it was so good yeah uh, i i need to okay. finish it but i'm like so scared <laughs> but oh, yeah. i like it. <laughs> it it's very very good i i yeah. really liked it a lot and it's it's really cool to me to see like newer horror books like i know a lot of people are, are reading uh ice cream man right now yeah and apparently that's very very good um i haven't dove too deep and there's another book i'm hearing a lot about right now it's called hotel oh i heard about that oh. one yes i i saw the cover and i wanted to pick it and i completely forgot about it but so i want to look for that one yeah, yeah. okay yeah no uh I really like the artist, uh, Damien, uh, still, uh, Steve uh, Niles. He does, he works a lot with him. Damien oh, Damien Worm. 
Yes. Yes. Damien yeah. Worm's a beast. Yes. He uh, uh-huh. they actually just put out a new book together. Gra- called Graveyard. The, Grave. The Grieving. Grieving. Yes. Yes. The Grieveling. That's what it yes. is. Yeah. Because yes. I actually had to have. Uh, I actually had our, our friend Julio pick me up that book from his, oh, okay. his shop because yeah. my shop didn't have it. Yeah, I had I, I ordered it from I had it as my uh, comics I love the, uh, my local comic book store to see if they can order for me uh, to see if they can get it because I really I saw I, I started following Damien and I know he posted and he follows me back. Oh, <laughs> yes, yeah, it's so cool. I actually and, remember not too long ago, I, I posted a Steve Niles book, and Steve Niles actually liked it. Yeah, and he follows like, me, too. Yeah, that's awesome, man. <laughs> they don't have that many followers. You no, know, I, I noticed. think they're both really new. I think they're both really new to Instagram, too. Uh, are they? Yeah, they don't have that many followers, and uh, I love his books. You know, I love Steve, like, his books and everything. And um, I when I saw that, the those there the new one was coming out i was like oh what is this i want it <laughs> october but, faction was amazing too and they both worked on that together yes yeah that one and then they did another one uh i know they oh they uh oh my goodness somebody they posted and they sent me the number one it's a uh, victory oh city no no mm. madame madame something i mm. oh my god i'm can't remember the name of it. I should have brought it so I can. Oh, but good. then oh. somebody, I, I posted, uh, somebody yeah. had sent me the second print and then I, I read it and I really liked it. And it's all, it's about Frankenstein. Frankenstein, am I saying that right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and, <laughs> Frank Stein. Frankenstein. Frankenstein. Wait. Frankenstein. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Let's just call him Frankie. <laughs> Frank that's, how they, yeah. that's how they say that in the South. They're like Frank Stain books. Well, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> and um, uh, it's it's that you know uh, it's about he is the you know he was created and then he kind of like ran away type of thing and it's like he's in the boat and isn't back in the like nineteen hundreds type of thing. Okay. And I'll I'll send you the the picture and he sent me that book and they both worked on it too, Steve and Damien. And- and yeah, and I read it. I really liked it, and I went on eBay right away, and I got one through four. It's super nice. cheap too. I got it for ten bucks for four books. Also, and, if yeah. you're big into Frankenstein, you should Thank read a you. book called Frankenstein. What's the first series? Because the new one is called, I think, shit. It's written by Mike <laughs> McNulty. So if you oh, like okay. Hellboy. Uh, it's called Frankenstein Unbound, I think, oh, is the new yes, one. Oh, yes, yes. You know, the I missed out on that one. was Frankenstein Undone was the <laughs> original five issue, and that's oh. really, really good as well. Oh, I'm going to look into that one, man. Because, yeah, I like all that stuff. Uh, I like so. the older stuff, like vampires, mummies. I don't mm. know, things like oh, that, yeah. you know. <laughs> I, I like that stuff. Uh, and I, anything about ghosts, like yeah. I said, I get scared. But like uh, anything about what, Jose? Ghost. <laughs> we, I think we know a ghost named Jose. Yeah. You know what? You know what? I think it's so weird how, like, it's always, and I know I heard it somewhere else too, like, how the ghosts, they're always, like, in the, like, the 1900s, like, it's nothing kind of yeah. new. Like, in the movies, it's always an old, like, Back in the day, how come it's not modern? <laughs> you know, I don't know. That, that's actually a really good question. Yeah. I, I think it's because period ghosts are more, like, more scary. Yeah, I think so. I guess. Like, yeah. like if you saw a ghost that had, like, an emo haircut, and he was like, <laughs> yeah. Um, uh, oh, I died in 2003. <laughs> My chemical romance is best. Like, you wouldn't be nearly as scared. <laughs> that's so funny <laughs> yeah oh right now i got a notification there's this guy uh uh what's his name uh fest like it's he's part of the the comic book club he must have uh, just got voted in yes yes okay uh, with, wow. we message each other oh hello so oh, there he is just <laughs> yes <laughs> he's so smiley <laughs> <laughs> so, uh me and we send each other like scary 
uh, scary, <laughs> scary stories uh, uh, from our hometowns. Oh, oh my goodness. Yeah. Say hi real quick. Hi. Hi. Hello. Okay, he had cake. I brought cake from the baby shower <laughs> I went to. <laughs> I think it was the wrong timing to give him cake. So. Good luck with that. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, good luck. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, but and then you know at the beginning too that I was doing lives and you know talking about scary stories and stuff like that. Um, and hey. people will be sending me some. Uh, see, like they're tell- he's messaging me, t- telling me I'm a vintage dress. <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, uh, I was doing that. But then I kind of got like some weird guy saying dumb stuff on my life and then that kind of scared me away and I and then yeah. for a while I didn't do a live but I was yeah. mean you know uh, talking about scary stories that sometimes from my experience or my family experience or uh, people will send it to me but I like things like that That's <laughs> <It's awesome. so> <laughs> I would uh, I would love to hear one of your scary stories you want it oh my goodness let me see. Well, the most recent was when I was just living with my husband and my sister-in-law. And uh, they, we, had, we had just moved in together. And we were living with his mom and his, and his sister and her boyfriend. So we had two rooms. And our rooms were kind of close from each other. Sorry. <laughs> Can you shush, please? No, go play over there, please. I'm sorry, guys. You're all right. There. Close the door. Close the door. No, he didn't. <laughs> so um, our room it was close from each other, and I had my door kind of cracked, and I I saw somebody you know with the white shirt passing by, and I could have I, I thought it was her husband, her well not her husband, but I thought it was her boyfriend at the time. And um, later on, we both came out because we both like to watch scary stuff, and at the time right. we were so into it watching those goals adventures and other mm-hmm. other shows like that and i was like oh where is where's your husband and then she's like oh he's at work i'm like what time did he go in <laughs> uh, he went early in the morning i'm like who was wearing a white shirt <laughs> and she's like That's nobody you burn it down and i started telling him how i looked and my husband's dad passed away years ago and oh. then i told her how he looked and he's like that's describing my dad i was like wow oh. That's, <laughs> that's cool though i mean at least it's like at least it was like the the old family member ghost and yeah not like, you know. yeah and i just i'm like passing by and i i didn't think you know things like that they have happened and i don't mm-hmm. realize what it is till later and oh my god there's like so many things like that another house when we lived with my aunt there was a little it was a little girl and she used uh, to scare everybody nope. except nope. me. That never happened to me either because it was I'm a, around my clubbing times and I was kind of going to <laughs> notice. <laughs> you just, but, the ghost is trying to scare you and you're like, get out of here, bitch, I'm hammered. Bah. Yeah, yeah, probably. I don't know. But yeah, even, you know, like people, my cousin who did not, he does not believe in any of that stuff. He saw her, and they used to confuse him by my little cousin, and Dang. a lot. Yeah, it, wherever my mom lives, it's always haunted. <laughs> I can feel that. Yeah, I'm not even uh, a yeah. real true believer myself, but I've had some very interesting stories I can never explain. But yeah, yeah, in, yeah. my husband yeah, doesn't believe. Possible. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, my husband doesn't believe in that stuff either. Yeah. But I believe it. Yeah. I get made fun of because I believe in Bigfoot, so I can't say shit. Hey, you never know. You never know. You, you never, never know. know. I, I, I kind of want to believe. I, I believe it, but I mean, who knows? Who knows? Who knows? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so do you? So would you say that horror horror books are a favorite, or do you still prefer the superhero stuff? No, I like cool. more the the horror ones. Horror stuff. Yeah, I will probably, if there's one that I know it's about, I would rather go and pick up that one then. Right. You know, I think that's why I like DC more, because it's a little bit darker, you know? I can see that. So, yeah. I mean, that's why I'm selling all my Marvel books, you know? I noticed that, and I was so upset. <laughs> Didn't I say, oh, though? 
I said oh. mostly Marvel, so. You DC yeah. fan. No, though, <laughs> I have recently started to pick up a lot more Marvel, and uh, a lot of those older Marvel, like, horror books, like the old Chamber of Chills run uh-huh. that they did and stuff, mm. Uh, like, there are some really solid stories in some of that old mo- yeah, Marvel Yeah, the old, horror those stuff. old ones, yeah, no, no, those old ones, I, I will, that's something that I do have, I will not get rid of. Yeah. Um, and if I'm gonna look, I'm always look, you know, for those older ones, um, but more modern ones, like me. I, yeah, I can see that. <laughs> see that. Yeah. Oh, like, the older stuff, like, the whole thing with Dracula and Lilith. That's that's good, good yeah. Marvel stuff. Oh, actually, absolutely. That's actually oh, yeah. where I named my cat from. My cat's named Lilith. after Dracula's daughter, Lilith. Really? Yeah, yeah I guess. Yeah, I figured. Oh. <laughs> not, you know, not just the wife of Satan. My my mom loves that, too. I think that's why I like it, because my mom loves it. That woman can watch scary movie by herself by the middle of the night. And she named my sister Sam- Sam- Samara because of the girl from The Ring. Oh, nice. Oh, my God. That's and awesome. Jason, because of Jason. My, that's right. why my mom named my sibling. That, <laughs> that is why my daughter is named Sydney, because my wife's favorite scary movie is Scream. So we named our daughter Sydney <laughs> there you after. Go. Well, that's why my mom named, yeah, my, my sister. Right. She's, a, she's a little monster. <laughs> so I, I have to ask now. By mm-hmm. any chance, is your mom into like Santa Ria or Santa Muerte or any no, of that stuff? No, 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 no. She will do this. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah no, she will. Yeah, no, I, I think because she believes in that, I, mm-hmm. I feel that she will be scared of that stuff, you know? Okay. So, of course. Uh, yeah, but no, she, like any, any, doesn't matter how bad the movie it is, she, she probably watched it, every scary movie. Yeah. It's out there. Yeah, yeah awesome. she's uh, part of a group that uh, they play scary movies uh, all the awesome. time. Oh, that's so. awesome. <laughs> so, but they're that's in really Spanish. Cool. <laughs> that's okay. Hey, I, I know, love man. that stuff. I get enthralled with those telenovelas. <laughs> well, <laughs> one of the first like Spanish-speaking horror movies that I ever saw that like floored me was actually uh, The Devil's Backbone. Oh. It was direct. It was directed by Guillermo del Toro. It was oh. one of his first movies. Yeah, and it's, it's unreal good. It's very very good if you haven't seen it. Yeah, there's a, another one that I watch, and it was fr- and from Spain, and it was more like a thriller type of thing. Then you know, one of those at the end, it's like, oh, okay, it wasn't like so much, but. It was really, it was really good. I think it was on Amazon. My friend, uh, she, she's the one who told me about that. But the ones there are like from Spain, and the, man, those are nothing compared to the American movies. They're like really right. scary. Uh, Asian, Asian horror movies are still oh, the top. Man. Japanese oh, horror yes. films, are yes, insanity. insanity. Yes. 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 Yeah, that is so they, true. They uh, are super wild. Yeah, uh, we just watched my husband. Uh, he showed me one, but the act- they they actually fighting the like it's like an exorcist. Oh my goodness, it's like an exorcist fighting the demon, and the fighting scenes are freaking amazing. I yeah, can't oh, I the bet. Name of the movie. But <laughs> yeah, there's like few like that he they they we watched, and uh, the demons are freaking scary. <laughs> <laughs> but they're so good. That's true. The Asian ones are, oh, God, they're freaking <laughs> scary, but so Absolutely. good. <laughs> yeah, that, see, that's more my area of horror because I have, uh-huh. like, an obsession with, like, Japanese, like, ancient Japanese samurai horror, the whole uh-huh. thing with the, the Hanya and the and the demons. Like, that's, that's yes. my stuff. Not so much into yeah. uh, comic books. I, I've been trying to get up on that, but yeah. no, that's, that's, that's my thing. I have a question for you then, Uh since you are into Asian-based horror. Have you ever heard of the Jorogumo? The the little fat demon? No. The Jorogumo is the spider woman. Oh, spider woman? 
Sure. Yes, she oh, is a yes, yes, siren yes. that sings. Oh, people. The si- yes, 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 yes. She sings yeah. people into the water oh, and then yeah. pow, pow with the spider legs and eats them. I just listened yeah. to a podcast about yeah. the Jorah Kimo, and it's just nuts, those stories. That's what I love about the ancient world, man, is that so many different cultures that, like, conquested each other took so much. Like, ancient Greeks have, have the sirens, too, and it's the same similar notion. Of, right, of hauling sailors out from the sea onto the island right. and keeping them there for life, like uh, like the Odyssey, like in the Odyssey. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. That, that is so cool. <laughs> I like That's that awesome. stuff. See, like I'm I'm big into horror, but my horror bleeds into like mythology and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. I, I'm a ginormous yeah. mythology guy. Yeah, that and that I, is I was, cool though. I, I want I to learn just, more of that stuff. I was just telling Brando. I actually listened this podcast that I listened to. I just. Uh, Listen to it was about uh, Yuzer, which is the original frost giant from Ooh. Thor. Yeah, from Thor. Wow. And it's basically like the story is the 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 short version is basically Ymir is created, and he sweats, and his sweat creates other life forms. Oh, that's nice. And then over time, like people start living on him. And Odin happens to be one of the people that lives on it. And then oh. Odin gets fed up with it, and Odin actually kills him. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds so cool. It's fucking <laughs> Oh, of course. Finally, Fuzz gets you interested in something that might be involved with Thor, but I'll just go fuck myself. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, hold on. You don't What's like Thor? It? No, I didn't say I don't like Thor. She, she's like, eh, with Thor. <laughs> but how, though? Because, like, be, like you are... I assume from looking at your page, you are a pretty big Wonder Woman fan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But with Wonder Woman, early Wonder Woman, maybe yeah. not so much now, but being so... Uh, with the gods. With the gods and driven mm-hmm. in with all that, like I would think that Thor would be like the... the uh, is well, it? you know what? I, I mean, it's not that I don't like it. Honestly, I feel like... Uh, like, because I feel like I'm still kind of new, you know? Like, I've been into comics for, like, three years. Oh, okay. And that's something that I still haven't, like, dived into that much. Obviously, I know more because of the movies and stuff like that. And oh. I, I love it, you know? But right. I haven't actually, like, read too much. in you know, like, I need to read. And I'm sure, like, I once if I read it, I know I'm going to get into it, you know? But it's yeah. not like I don't like Thor. It's just that I haven't... um in I like that stuff. I, I, I need to, you know, especially like with gods and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. I, I love that, you know. Um, I, I, I That's something that even in, in, I remember in school, in high school, like reading uh, about, you know, the, the gods and stuff like that. I thought it was like super fascinating and it's pretty mm-hmm. cool. But now fast forward time and you're on a podcast with a Greek god. Right? Oh! oh, she's not going she's not gonna, she's not gonna to agree to that. <laughs> Let me tell you something. The one woman in the, on this planet that breaks my balls almost as much as my wife is this woman right here. <laughs> she always keeps me in check. <laughs> like, I'll post, like, a selfie that I actually wanted to try to look good on, and she's like, good job, ho. Like, okay, <laughs> How many filters did you put on that one, ho? <laughs> oh, and I love that your wife will comment. Oh, on it. Yeah. I'm like, oh, that just time. makes my day. Because, <laughs> <laughs> you know, I'm telling you, my husband, like, he posted um, watching the UFC fights, and uh, the girl, she's really pretty, re- Brazilian, beautiful girl. I think she's Brazilian. And, um, you know, he posted it, the picture, and I just, <laughs> like, this, she, because she won the fight. And right. I just come, like, I sent him as I'm like, you ho. <laughs> and so I'm like, it, and I send you that because I think. Uh, I, I, um, Angelica just had called you a hoe for posting your fancy pic, want to be fancy picture, you know. <laughs> You've been calling me a hoe for a long time, though, too. But actually, that just reminded me a very fun fact about Lucy here. Even though she's very girly girl, mm-hmm. or the appearance of being girly girl, she's very much into combat sports. She loves fighting. Oh, nice. Yeah. Well, right now, my husband's watching it. Yeah. <laughs> Oh really? Before before I kind of came in, I had a uh, 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 oh my god, like Gustafsson. I always get his name wrong, and uh, he just lost. Uh, oh. uh, but we 
people who is watching the UFC fights. I kind of felt off the watching them because all my fighters, well, not my fighters, but the fighters that I like, they all retire. Oh, yeah. And, um, yeah, GSP was my man. He oh, like, GSP is great. Oh, oh like, beautiful man. My second, second favorite. Second favorite. <laughs> and, Who's your first um, favorite? To me, no fighter ever, I'm talking about in UFC, will mm-hmm. ever, to me, top Chuck the Iceman Liddell. You know what? And I met him, and he is the nicest person ever. And he was one of my favorites, too. He's the man. Oh, my God. I sounded like, oh, I met him. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. You're very, very bougie. <laughs> so bougie. <laughs> no, it was like, I mean, Chuck Liddell, GSP, uh, and uh, Forrest Griffin. Um, I love Forrest Griffin. I heard he's a super nice guy. He he seems like a really nice guy. Uh, yeah. Uh, uh, Rampage, uh, Rampage. That's another one. Be- well, see, I have met this guy just because my friend, he does movies and stuff like that. And uh, Rampage was on one of his movies. So when we will go to the set, I was so nervous. Like I, I get so nervous. Like I don't want to bother them, you know. Of so I'm just yeah. like from afar, watch, looking at them, mm-hmm. staring at them like a dork, you know. Being a creep. <laughs> well, I mean, <laughs> you're also yeah. incredibly intimidating. So meeting like all, all like four foot eleven of you, very intimidating. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and uh, so you know those. Uh, who else? Uh, oh my goodness, there was like so many fighters that I like at the time. You know, Don't say Tito Ortiz. If oh, you say Tito no. Ortiz, I hate I that guy. Li- oh, I never liked talk. him. God, I never liked him. So every time he would fight Chuck Liddell, I would like. See, when I got uh, into watching UFC, it was like around 2006 when okay. them two was like you know the big thing that every time they would fight was like the biggest Big fight deal. ever and yeah. i will be so happy and my friends will be like how can you go for t- for for chug like tito the hispanic guy i'm like i don't care he's such a douche <laughs> like the way he acts but you know what i heard that he's a really nice person um, really i yeah. did not have a good experience with him no i have a lot of people that they have met him they they have a good experience with with him so wow i'm like okay fine but um i mean at the same time, I always when I hear things that oh this person was such a douche or whatever, I think about well maybe you got him at the wrong time or you know every, they're human they're gonna be in a bad mood or something I don't know yeah you know so that's why kind of when I will meet people like that I will be like I don't know if they 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 talk to people then I will probably just say hi but I will I rather kind of you know. They, I, I'm good enough just by seeing them in person. Like, yeah. oh, another one that that was like for me was the biggest famous person that I met, and I was like in sl- like super shock. <laughs> it was uh, 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 oh my goodness, I can't think of his name. Demolition, uh, Wesley Snipes. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Play! Oh my! Oh my Play. God! Oh, I, I loved him on Demolition Man. I was like, Oh yeah, oh, I love oh, so that guy. Are you, are you excited for the new one coming out? There's a new one. Wait, How what? Did, yeah, they're coming out with a new Demolition Man, a sequel and with I believe with him and. Oh, that'll and be amazing. So <gasps> oh my Get god! Get out of here! Oh. Yeah, I'm. Yeah, I'm so they're coming out with another wow. one. Wow. Yeah, no, when I, I was, like, next to him, I was, like, I told my friend, I'm, like, take a picture, ask for me. <laughs> but, you know, she was, like, just ask him. I was, like, and it was at a party, you know, like, I'm, like, no, 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 I don't want to bother him, you know. Right. I, I, I'm here, he's here to enjoy, you know, his time. I don't want to, I don't want to be that. Let me take a picture, you know. So I'm just, like, let's just, let me stand here and pretend you took taking a picture of me. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to point out how important and how bougie she is because so far she's told us she's been on movie sets and she goes to parties that have celebrities. That is true. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. And I was in a movie too. Oh. oh. <laughs> just bougie meter just blew up. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on. Let me. <laughs> are, you on, are you on IMDb? I'm sure you are. Nah, I took a dab. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> no. No. You know, I'm telling you, my friend, he, he's a director, he's a writer, and his wife's my best friend. So, like, I will get invited, you know, and I That's will cool, be though. around there. And uh, so, 
and I was extra, like, you know, a few times I was an extra and not a big thing, you know? Um, hey, still, so I mean, you was, can still tell fun. people you've been in movies. Um, I know. And I will mess around with them. I'm like, hey, hey, I'm, I'm an actress. <laughs> 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 but, you know, I just like this. I, I'm not, <laughs> not like that. Okay. And, um, oh, uh, and let me throw one more for you, for your nerds. <laughs> Uh, what's his name? Uh, Jason Mewes. Oh, nice. Super cool guy. He was really, he was really Jason nice. Mewes. I've heard yeah, he Jason is Mewes. extremely nice. I yeah. mean, when you have he a is. penis as large as his, are you going to be <laughs> <laughs> I, mean, I forgot about that. <laughs> it's I, fucking yeah. enormous. I don't know. Wait, I, what? How? Wait. How do you know? It was in a movie. He has like that movie with uh, oh, what, Mary like, Sack. Yeah, porno. Yeah, yes. that's true. And he's just I've actually there never just, seen that. Just hanging out. It was a funny one. It was a funny movie. Zach, yeah. Zach and Miri make a porno. Zach, yeah. yeah. I, was, I remember that. Yeah. Yeah. I think I didn't watch that because I don't like Seth Rogen. Oh. I what? honestly don't like Seth Rogen either. I do I, not like him. I, I think don't. he's so funny. I. I think the complete opposite. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I just, I can't do that. The non-stop, like, oh, baby, we're going to get high. That's so sweet. That's like the cookie monster. Yeah. That's what he reminds me of. He reminds me of, like, an older Jewish cookie monster. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I don't know how to explain it. so true. That is so true. That's true, though. Yeah. That's true. I, I like I liked him. I don't know. I, but you know, it's he always that's true. Like he always acts kind of the same on almost always the same. You know what? That movie with um that he was like the what is the politician one with Charlie Theron, I think that's her name. The, oh, she was an older uh, I know I've that's seen I name? saw the preview. Yeah, it's good. Name. I liked it. I, I liked it. I'm really bad with me. But yeah, uh, with her, uh, it was really good. I really liked it. It was nice. Oh, yeah. yeah. So awesome. on the topic of movies, then, what is your top favorite comic book movie? Ooh, good question. Um, you know, I know people don't like it, but I love them. The X Men movies, which is what, okay. uh, which is like, I oh my god, your face, you're like. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. You caught me off guard because, like, as soon as somebody says they love the X Men movies, the first thing that pops into my head is Last Stand. And I'm like, nobody, nobody liked that movie. Nobody. <laughs> your face. No, you know what? For the first time, this is the only one I think I have not seen, and I posted about it yesterday. It was the uh, Apocalypse. I think it was yeah, the Apocalypse. I have, I have not seen that one either. Um, yeah, it's in. They're on Disney Channel and Disney Channel. I keep saying Disney Channel, and my kid always corrects me. Disney app. Uh, um, Disney they're Plus. there. Yeah, and uh, right. we watched that one, and I have not. You know, it was my first time seeing it, and I really liked it. I I like it a lot. I know I people really, hate them. I really liked the the other newer one that they did. Uh, for was it first class? The Phoenix. The Phoenix? The, the very last one was the... No, not Dark okay. Phoenix. I, I, still I, I, didn't even, I haven't watched that either. It was good. I, I liked it. I mean... Um, no, the one the one that they first... Like, oh, the first class it was, yeah. Kind of like, yeah. Like the little reboot that they did. Yeah, it was the first Which class. Which reboot? The movie's just constantly fucking rebooting. That's I've watched true. those movies, I don't know, every single time my wife wanted to watch one because she's you know into Hugh Jackman because he's older and Australian. Oh. And um, yeah, and, but, and huge, <laughs> and huge. He well, aha! I met him in real life. I'm taller. I'm taller, but way fatter. So at least I got him on. The <laughs> <laughs> but every single time, I'm like, I don't think I watched that one. She's like, you fucking idiot. Yes, you watched this one. We watched this one. We watched like they're just so not memorable. Yeah, they're good. Yeah, I, I they, like them. Hence, yeah. hence my face when you said. The X Men movies. I I like, the I okay, no, I then, I, well, I really like those, but then I guess that my favorite favorite out of all, I want to say Ant Man. I think because it was more like funny, uh, and I love yeah. I love comedy. So Ant Man was Ant Man, Ant Man. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that one. <laughs> Rain Man. 
No, dummy. <laughs> just... <laughs> Damn and... accent. Damn Mexican accent. <laughs> I'm not laughing at that. That was her. It was me. It, it was me. I, I admit it. Oh, so Ant-Man was, I enjoyed Ant-Man. I really, and, <laughs> you know, I think I like, because I love comedy. I, I really love, you know, so that Guardians of the Galaxy, like, I like those because they're not, like, too serious and they're, like, you know, very goofy. So I, like I have still not seen the second Guardians movie. Well, oh, I, a lot of people didn't like it. I mean, yeah. I I don't know. I guess I'm not a hater when it comes to movies. <laughs> I, oh, I'm not either. You know, I, want to say I mean, that she talks so much shit about being a DC fan and getting. I I I'm selling my Marvel books, okay? But <laughs> but you just chose nothing but Marvel movies. <laughs> well, because I mean, come on. I like, thought you were gonna say DC, Wonder Woman. Like Wonder say. Woman, it was yeah. I really liked Wonder Wonder Woman, and I was not like I for the actress at first because I mean Wonder Woman, she's an Amazon. She should be like I feel like a little bit thicker and Thick, big thick woman. With two C's, two C's. <laughs> <laughs> thick woman, the big, you know. Great. So yeah. she's. That's and then, but she's a good actress, you know. Then oh, I'm yeah. like, okay, yeah. like she's she's very like a sweet, like how Wonder Woman should be. I think you know, very I agree. Uh, I, humble. But then I I wanted somebody. I feel like there's so many other people that could have been Wonder Woman. You know, that's why I don't really? say that. That's my first one. I yeah, no, I agree. Woman, I liked it too. Shazam, oh, like I love them. You know. Yeah. Um, one that I, I was just kind of like, what the. Much was happening here was the Batman Superman like the, I get it like I you know? I like I said man I mean being being a DC fan you know being a Batman fan being a Superman fan it yeah. was a hodgepodge of a movie mm-hmm. but like I like I like I said when it first came out and everybody was shitting on it like look dude I've been waiting on this movie since I was like five yeah like you're not going to shit on this for me. I don't care. Yeah. I've been waiting to see these dudes live action since I was five years old. I finally got it. I'm okay with yeah. it. I'm happy. Yeah. <laughs> I think for me it was because I don't like Ben Netflix. Yeah. Oh, okay. I don't. Sorry. Don't. I don't. You know, I. But he didn't. He you know, okay. He wasn't so bad as a Batman. You know, I'm no, no. He's he, fantastic. He wasn't. No, no. Yeah, he was. But and it took me like two years to watch it. And because I kept hearing it was really bad, so I could, I'm like, okay. And yeah, the story, if they would have put it a different way, it would have been a lot better because the story was oh, yeah. a little bit of like everywhere. Um, and it was like if I was watching two different movies, that they could have been good if it was. Oh, absolutely. You know. yeah. but, no, I, I don't disagree with that. What's yeah, no. So it, it was not like in the same with the other ones with Suicide Squad, like, you know, they were not that bad. And no. again, Will Smith, it, I, I just think, I like Will Smith, but I'm like thinking he's going to play the character that he always plays, you know, like the it's, Will Smith, like it's but, just the but, same, Yeah. you know, so it's like, I'm like, not nah, kind of like, yeah. eh, whatever, but no, I feel it. But I mean, they were not that bad as how no. people were saying, but I'm yeah. like, mm. and but the other that's... That's the world, though, man. Everybody has an opinion, and they will beat your ass over the head with it until you believe the shit they believe. Yeah. Agreed. Yeah. Well, the good thing, they don't change my mind, so whatever. They can suck it. <laughs> <laughs> suck it, mama huevos. They can suck it. Yeah, no. Uh, you, yeah, no, we, you know, uh, the other one, we still haven't watched uh, Birds of Prey. And I have not seen it either. I, I, I mean, we'll, we'll see later. I maybe. have to see that movie because Margot Robbie is just, oh, God. What? You don't like her? Or is Are you it crazy? Good... She, she's like the fucking god of masturbation material. Like, she, like <laughs> Well, I guess. She's phenomenal. <laughs> if you're that kind of man, I guess. I am that kind of man. I'm married. <laughs> just just me and my hands. Yeah, no, I don't, I don't, yeah, and see, I don't really like her as Harley Quinn. Oh, I don't, I don't, I don't either. I don't Listen, either. Yay. Listen, Margot Robbie could play my mother in a movie, and I'd be like, damn, my mom is hot. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> I, yeah, uh, 
I yeah, am no, I don't. the only the only thing about that movie that makes me really want to watch it is I am a huge Ewan McGregor fan. Mm-hmm. I love Ewan McGregor, so I'm excited to see him as Black Mask. Mm-hmm. So, uh, yeah. So I, I don't know. Once it's like oh. on for free, I'll probably watch it. Are you? Well, excited? it's. Huh? Sorry, go. Go ahead, go ahead. Um, it's going to be on HBO Max in a couple of weeks. Oh, okay. I'll, I'll probably watch it then. Yeah, I'm curious to see it. if you are excited for Robert Pattinson as Batman. Mm. Um, whatever. About it. whatever. Oh, I'm so excited. I was, I was Team Jacob. Sorry. Oh. Oh, no, no. See, the funny thing is, is I just always <laughs> troll and say that I'm Team Edward, but I'm actually not. I was always Team Jacob, but it's just yeah. Edward Cullen is like the face. The face of, of the whole Twilight series because you can't have Bella because she just looks like a dead fish. All the time. Yeah. I'm like, why can you not go with a nice hot guy? Hello. What's wrong with you? I don't know, I don't know how to feel women. right now. <laughs> no, Edward, Pat- see, uh, Edward Pattinson. Robert Pattinson, though, I have so much faith that he's going to knock this out of the park because oh, he's a phenomenal actor. He yes, really I agree with you. I agree with you. I've seen other movies other than, you know, the Twilight ones. Obviously. And yeah. he played, yeah, he's a great actor. He is. So I, I'm sure, he really is. sure he's going to be a, uh, I don't know if you heard my husband. He's excited for the fights. <laughs> <laughs> I, didn't know if that was, I didn't know if that was excitement or one of his fighters got defeated and he was very upset. No, he, he like he liked what just happened, yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, no, I um, I, no, I mean, I, I mean, yeah, I, I'm sure he'll do good. Uh, I, yeah. can, I I really hope it's a good. I just hope it's a good movie. Yes, and me too. I, it's I think what it gets me more like the action. Um, doesn't matter what if it's a superhero movie or not. Like the the action, that's what yes. I will. Decide, oh, it's a, it was a good movie because of the action, right. you know. Of course. So, I mean, I guess the storyline uh, has to do, but like the the action. I do wonder how action packed this new Batman is going to be, though, considering Matt Reeves is going for a very noir driven movie. Mm-hmm. Like it's it's going to heavily rely on the detective, detective, aspect, yeah. the detective mm-hmm. aspect of Batman. What? So what? I. That could cool. be wrong, like Gritty. Yeah. I mean, oh no, absolutely. I, I think I absolutely think there's going to be some ass beating going on. Yeah. But I think he he his big plan from what I've read and stuff is that he really wants to show the detective side of Batman, that which is cool. awesome. Which is awesome yeah. because oh, yeah. no no Batman movie other than Batman v Superman has really ever touched on that. That's true. That's that is so that is so true. <laughs> you know, and that's I, I mean, I, that's why I love Batman because the detective. And you know, girls, we are great detectives. <laughs> so, you know, <laughs> we will find anything. <laughs> uh, so that's why I like Batman. <laughs> it's all yeah. I would like to see. I, I would like to to see. I actually, more of a detective. I actually do have a couple of questions for you. Mm-hmm. Uh, being a female that reads comics, are you more drawn to female characters, or it doesn't really matter? No, um, no, not really. I think okay. it's just like I, I just go with like whatever. It, it, I the way I pick a comic, it's mostly because of the cover, and okay. then also like depends on the writer. Like when I know like it's one of the writers I kind of know, then I'll be like, oh, I need to pick up that comic. Absolutely. And, you know, and sometimes but because of the co- like Gear uh, Zero, I the cover looked great. You know, mm-hmm. so I was like, oh, I need to pick this up. <laughs> Did you pick that one up? Did you see how the prices are going up on that one already? No, Gear I Zero. I think uh, I heard it was already at fifty bucks or something like oh that. Oh my god, fucking flippers, man! Dude. Yeah, I don't know, but I oh. was like, <laughs> yeah. I got, I got, I was able to get cover one from my local comic book shop, and then I wanted the the other one, and I was able to order one from uh, one store. Can I right order online? That's cool. And um, I read number one, and I had to order number three because I forgot to add it to my pool. <laughs> oh and, yeah. Uh, so I need to. I just added. So I, I I was able to get two, but not number three. So I just ordered those, but. Um, 
I, I, I need to read the other ones. But yeah, it's mostly like, I'm not like, I know a lot of women are like, girl power and oh yeah like absolutely. that you of know course, and yeah. that's cool that's good that's cool that they're like that you know yeah. um but i'm not so much <laughs> like that. I, there ain't nothing wrong with that no. yeah no i was just curious because you know yeah i i always wonder that you know i always wonder if like being a female reader because like as a as a dude that reads comics and stuff, I I don't care. You I'll don't read think whatever. about that. Yeah. yeah. No, I, I don't really think about that. But I wonder if there are some people that do. You know. Yeah. So. Yeah. Well, it's the only one that I did, I thought about. I'm like, this is awesome that it was uh the House of X and Power of X number two. Uh, that it's the cover of all the girls, uh, the the X women, right. and you know, uh, and it was. Uh, the artist was Jasmine Putri, so I thought it was pretty cool. Like I don't yeah, know, maybe I'm, you know, I, I'm like right. oh, it was all the girls, and and then it was you know drawn by by a woman, so I thought it was pretty cool. And I, that is I had to have that, you Very know. Cool. Absolutely. I guess it depends, yeah. like you know. And then I love the artist. I'm, I've been picking up whatever she does, but it's because she is you know drawing because I like her, or the same of with course. Jenny Fritz, and you know oh, whatever yeah, she Fritz. does. Like yeah. they're they're amazing artists, you know. But I don't think about it just oh because she's a woman, I need to pick it up. Of course, Not, I don't think about it like that. I just yeah pick up whatever I like, you know. That's awesome, man. Yeah. That's yeah. That's definitely well because I mean I'm a huge Joelle Jones fan. Like mm -hmm. I think Joelle oh, Jones' yeah. art is yeah, amazing. Yeah, she's amazing too. Yeah, mm -hmm. I I love her art and her stories. So, she's a good writer too. Yeah, but she yeah. is a really good writer too. But yeah, the, the way I got into her was because of Lady Killer. Yeah, that's oh, Lady Killer. I have not, I have not read oh, Lady Killer. So good. I've heard nothing but good. So things. good. Yeah, yeah. At some I don't point, have I'm definitely one, gonna have to check it out. Yeah, uh, volume one. I need to pick. I, I, I've been looking on eBay to pick up uh, all the if they should because I want the. I don't really like trade paperbacks, so I like to get the issues. So same. Oh, been, okay. Yeah, I've been looking at those, and I'm like, oh, I need to get them. <laughs> I'm actually like for certain stuff, man. I'm actually getting to the point where it's like I'd rather just wait and get the trade mm, than buy yeah. every single issue. But it's only certain stuff, like yeah, <clears throat> like that hotel okay, book. That. Like I absolutely want to read Hotel, but I feel like it's that kind of book that even though they're about to drop issue three. Mm -hmm. And I could probably pick up issue one and two. I'm just kind of like, you know, they're probably going to put out six of these. And yeah. Then after the sixth releases, they're going to throw a trade out. So I might as well just wait and just grab the yeah. whole trade. So. Yeah. That, that, you know, and even like, you know, for collectors, I'm like, you can take a, I don't know what happened. <laughs> what happened with you? Huh? I, I didn't call you. I didn't say Romy. Yeah, Romy. Oh, he's saying I call him Romy. <laughs> I didn't. <laughs> you said, what happened? <laughs> yeah, like, so I think, like, probably, you know, those independent comics, I feel like the, the print run, it's not that big. So, exactly. you know, it's going to be a little bit harder to get those. And, yeah, like, um, the only trade that I have picked up, it was uh, I Hate Fairyland, but I have the issues, but I only picked up the, the hard cover, the Special, it was like the, the uh, big old thick the pink paint. one yeah. yeah and it was one out of 500 i think and i think he signed it or did a sketch i don't know it's, it's still sealed i didn't even open it because <laughs> right. i want to keep I, I and i love that book i love that story mm -hmm. uh scotty young was one of my first artists that i that i yeah. got into yeah. So I I wanted to keep it like that um and that's just for me you know that's not not something that i'm like oh i'm gonna I don't know if I sell, have to sell in the future, probably, but that's something that I know I don't want to sell. <laughs> Absolutely. But yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. That's awesome. And the, the other question I do have for you is I just want you to settle a uh, argument of the least favorite characters on Two Guys, One Move. Who would win in a fight? Spider-Gwen or Jane Foster Thor? Oh, come on. <laughs> oh, Jane Foster would win. Yeah, she has to. <laughs> I quit. I quit. Why? I mean, she is like the girl Thor. Come on. No, that's just ridiculous. It's like asking me, like, who'd win in a fight? 
Me or a, a, a two-year-old? Like, come on. Like, that's not that's not fair. That's fair. <laughs> Pete set me up for that one. That's terrible. <laughs> no, actually, I did. That was actually a question that Nicole, my wife, proposed. She oh, was there like, you, go. you should ask She's her so that. Awesome. <laughs> and she's cool. You know, that hurts my feet. You just pitted her against me, man. And this is the woman that's usually actually on my side. Like when I did my rant about flippers on Venom issue number 27, the crane variant. Absolutely. I Remember when I did that story? Yeah. Immediately, Lucy messaged me. She goes, what happened? Who hurt you? <laughs> <laughs> when he posts things like that, who, who do we have to beat up? Come on. Yes. Yeah. Let, let there's a, little mama there's, always here. <laughs> there is a lot of people that need beat up for shit like that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you know what i i like i see the books that they're hot now like i mean i didn't mean to like i'm not saving them to be like oh i'm gonna sell them because they're like super yeah, hot course. it just mm-hmm. happened to that it's it's selling at that price you know like my yeah. uh spy, spider uh spider went the one um 24 that right now is like super expensive i guess yeah. it's like 60 bucks whatever i sold that one for like 20 bucks a couple weeks ago and yeah. you know what i mean i'm like dang but then it's it's cool because i feel like it went to somebody that i know and if right. he wants to sell it that that's okay if he wants to keep it that, that's okay but i know it exactly. went to somebody that i know and i feel mm-hmm. good uh you know uh selling that book to that yeah. person but yes, when it is. comes to ebay I don't give a shit. <laughs> well, yeah. But nobody nobody on eBay gives shit. Yeah, I'm no, like, yeah. Nobody. Give me your money. I don't care. Yeah. <laughs> Motherfuckers. Yeah, but well, if that, you're going to mm-hmm. sell it to somebody on on, uh, on Instagram, I wouldn't sell. If it's something that it just came out this week and I pay cover price, I'm not going to okay. sell it to somebody on Instagram that they're following me and I'm following them for stupid price because I think. Oh, of course not. It's fucked up. You know, well, that's it's like, the way we're that friends, we come should, on. <laughs> that, well, not even just that, but, like, that's the way that we should all treat each other within the community, man. Like, yeah. <clears throat> like, look, man, I picked this up for three ninety nine day one. Yeah. I don't want it, and you are super into this character. Yeah. And it's like, why don't you just take it? I'll charge you a smidge more just because, like, I don't want to get screwed, but I don't yeah. want to screw you either. Yeah, yeah. So. Yeah, when you see, like when Brando he bought the the Mortal Hulk from me, and yeah, like I feel horrible charging him, especially you know those mm-hmm. prices. And, and he's like, I'm sure you want to let go, you know. And what did I say to you? No, no, no. I know what I told you. Charge me. I'd rather give yeah, you the I money. Know. And I know that people are charging on eBay, and at least I know it's going know. to somebody I like. Yeah, exactly. yes, and you know, mm-hmm. and, but I feel like it makes me feel bad about it, you know, like and. It's oh, like, yeah. and uh, if you know if they're going up, I don't care because I know I went to somebody that you know they're Absolutely. gonna appreciate the books and stuff like that. But then at the same time, I feel bad charging those prices, you know, to somebody. That oh yeah. Know. Well, like, absolutely. And uh, like you know, the books that I've been selling, I try to go less than what they're going on eBay because I don't want to overcharge them, you know. And, exactly. It's, yeah, you're not a um, flipper though. You're just you're just charging like market below market value of yeah. a book currently. I'm talking about those those fucking cabrones that <laughs> they go to each store to look and for buy that. everything. Yes. And they hoard it and then they then they run the market on you it. You know what? At yeah. Comic Asylum, the owner, uh, I don't know if you guys follow chicks. Uh, this guy went off on her once because what was it? It was a spite when the Spider Man before the 800 came out. Okay. And this guy came in and, you know, he was trying to take, every, like, he was waiting outside. And he was, like, trying to pay, like, below what it, like, cover price. And he was not even a regular guy. And she, he kind of went off on her. I'm like, dang, he's lucky I was not there because I would have freaking gone off on him. <laughs> but yeah. I'm like, so, I'm like, what the hell? And thank God, like, you know, the guys that they were there, like, mm-hmm. they were backing her up. And oh, yeah. obviously, you know, she kind of like kicked him out. And even he was like trying to say, oh, let me talk to your husband. I'm like, what the hell dare you? She's there. Like, she's the owner. She's also the owner. Like, We'll see. And that's, and, the, that's the tough thing for shop owners, man, is because like 
they, they hit those walls where it's like you don't want to be able to have somebody come in there and buy your entire stock of a certain book. Yeah. But on the other side of it, you are a business owner, and that's yeah. a shit ton of money. Yeah. yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. But I, she, yeah, like she told him, like, you know, you can get a few of them, but you have to leave for – she knows that other people go there, and, they, you know, they might not – they right. can't do a pool because they don't want to commit to that. So she's exactly. like, you know what? Leave at least some of them for my other people. I know they're going to go, but, like, come on. Don't be an asshole oh, yeah. and take everything, you know? Yeah, like, don't be a poop. Yeah, be a so. Poop. Yeah, so, like, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but, um, and, you know, like, I see also, like, you know, when I know the sh- comic book shops, they do go up a little bit on their covers. I see Some that a lot. Do, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. If it's a few bucks, I understand because they're trying to make yeah. it up. Well, I work there, so I kind of like for whatever it's not selling. They have so much back issues that it's money sitting there and they yeah. still have to pay for those, you know, because they have to, mm-hmm. some of them, they have to pay up front for those books. Of and course. They're yeah, there. Certain. So I understand why some comic books, you know, if they're small. <clears throat> I understand if it's going for a little more, they're going to go, mm-hmm. but. The ones that are regular cover and it just came up and they're going up like freaking hundred bucks. That's yeah. just that's just ridiculous. Messed up. But <laughs> yeah. yes, on that note, we are at the one hour mark and we <laughs> still have three th- three things to do. If you don't mind, okay. I forgot. I forgot to. I got to do a quick unboxing and a shout out to Julio. Okay. Uh, yeah. Oh, Julio. yeah, you know Julio. He's yeah, he's yeah. cool. Down at the... Mi compadre Julio. Compadre Julio. <laughs> Mi amor Julio. Right, so, uh, he sent me a package, so I'm going to do a quick unboxing for that. Uh, we did an unboxing video yesterday that's going to drop who the fuck knows when because we're terrible with timing on those. Yes. Uh, literally, two minutes two minutes after we stopped filming, I, I, tur- I put the computer closed and the mailman dropped this off. So. Uh, I, by the way, have no idea what this is. He said you know, that he's just going to send me a box. So, Oh, you motherfucker. Ooh, what um, is it? What is it? It's the fucking Goku statue I wanted. Aww. Oh, so nice, nice, dude. Oh. Uh, you better well, name your It's actually kid after Gogeta. Him. Oh, yeah. Julio. Julio. <laughs> Julio Flores. <laughs> yes. Thank you so much, dude. I really appreciate you so, so, so very much. I'm stoked. Oh, it's gonna awesome. go. It's gonna go over there with my other one. Oh. Hell yes. Okay. Oh, uh, I want to tell you. I want to ask right. you something. And yes. you told me you call me rude. You call me rude. Um, I don't know why, but you know, uh, Miss Comadre. I always call her Cobra Comadre. <laughs> um, Cobra her, Commander Gal. Oh. Yeah, she posted the one with her bathtub <laughs> oh, with, and with the stickers. And did you guys read all those nasty ass comments? I Listen. did not. Listen, but... the funny thing is that you say that because she does not fucking watch the show whatsoever. And she said, Oh my God, you're going to have Lucy on. I'm actually going to watch it now. <laughs> <laughs> no, okay. Oh, I love her. Yeah, Michael she, Madre. She's fucking great. I'm going to call her Margarita. So margarita, margarita Rita. So margarita she, Rita. She also she drinks margaritas. And she <laughs> also relentlessly, relentlessly breaks my balls all the time. No matter what. I love her. She's awesome. Yeah, she's great. <laughs> and I call her, you know, comadre. She's a mm-hmm. comadre. <laughs> but uh yes, I'm like, ew. I had a post <laughs> ew. And he's <laughs> all rude. <laughs> It's rude. You don't post ew on any of her other bath pictures just because she took a picture of my stickers no, in the bath. No, 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 no. It's not because of that. I said ew because of the comments. The comments. Oh, her comments. Yes, I don't know her that comments. She, that she got. Sent yes, her? like the ones that are saying like, "I want to be your sugar daddy." And oh, sure. oh, let me send her pictures of your feet. Send me pictures of your feet. Yes. That's why I said ew, um, not oh, because yeah. of the picture. But because the comments, oh my they were god, gross. Dude. Did, did you That's see the I'm comments saying. I commented back? So, <laughs> no. Okay, Which I do one? this thing. Any female or male doesn't matter if you get 
if you get unsolicited uh, sexual comments like that, hit me up. If you don't like them, if you like them, then by all means enjoy them. If you don't like them, hit me up, because I will always comment on them. And I tell them, like like one of the guys, I said, oh, oh hey Daniel, uh, forget about her. Why don't you slide into my DMs and see what this mouth can do? <laughs> with the eggplant, with the eggplant emoji and the water emoji. Well, get this, and I and I sent the screenshot to her in case you didn't believe me. The yeah. fucking guy. Messaged me and asked if I wanted to be a sugar baby to see what the oh, time he did. <laughs> he absolutely <laughs> did. And That's it's so let's 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 distract from the fact if I can or cannot suck a mean dick. I'm not gonna talk about that. <laughs> what the fuck makes you think I'm gonna fly out to Ohio so my sugar daddy from Instagram? Yes, he's from Ohio, Buzz. <laughs> Honey, you know. Because he told me he's in Ohio. <laughs> Well, I mean, I'm just saying, I know there would be actually reasons that you flew to Ohio. To no, never we mind. know why. Why never is mind. he over there? <laughs> that was the funny thing. So then he texts me. He goes, he goes, uh, ooh. Uh, Did you hear that? Yes. yes. Are, are you are you interested in being my sugar baby? So then I just immediately wrote back, like, dude, you know, laugh out loud, I'm a dude. And then I thought about it. I'm like, wait a minute, what's the allowance? <laughs> What what are we what kind of funds are we talking here? Hey, my wife is totally supportive if, if I need, you know. I always tell my husband, I always tell my husband, babe, find yourself a cougar. I'm I'm cool. I'm cool. <laughs> as long as she's paying these bills. At least you have faith that your husband can find a cougar. My wife is convinced that I'm going to leave her for a man. <laughs> the funny thing is that. I always say the same thing. <laughs> I live in Palm Springs. Come on. I like, got a bunch of, bunch of good looking men out there in Palm Springs. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. It's like, yeah, yeah. I don't know. I don't <laughs> we believe had that like the, the Di- dinosaur weekend and the other one, I can't remember, uh, the white party, I think it calls. One, the, one's for the girls, one's for the guys. Oh, so, okay. It's I think it's right after Coachella. Oh and, Jesus! Yeah, so there's a lot of events like that out there. <laughs> Fantastic. Speaking about Coachella events and parties and having a good time in the summertime too, this is going to lead me into my shout out. If that's no. cool with you. Okay. That's fine me. So my wife's friend Anna, she's a very good friend of ours. We've known her since the entire time that we lived in New York. She's a very sweet, sweet woman. Fantastic. Uh, she decided to do a little side hustle. I had one of them before I came down. She makes these pre-made, like, frozen drinks from, like, uh, pina coladas, all these passion fruit, this. And I had oh, one. Because wow. I will never say that I like something unless I have it myself. So I wanted to give her a shout out. She's an up and coming business. And uh, I'm going to interject this in, too, because this is a hot trending thing. Yes, black owned business. So you should support it, too. Absolutely. And her, yeah. her Instagram is sunshines underscore tropical underscore bliss. And I'm sure we'll just yeah. throw that in there. But I just wanted to shout out because she's, she's, she's such a sweetheart. And I That's really awesome. hope. And her I, products are fucking incredible. That was the best pina colada I ever had in my life. And I've been to like multiple. Does she, does she uh, deliver? Does she, can, can she melt some over here? I don't know. They'll be can, melted they, by the time they get yeah. here. I don't know. Yeah. But see, she might be able to pre-make them and have them and not pre-freeze them and then send okay. them out. But oh. uh, right. right now, especially in like the New York area. So I just want to interject. She's just a, she's just a great woman. Like when we first moved to New York, and we had like nothing. And she was my wife's friend, and she just she made it Aww. much much happier and better oh, better man, times. Awesome. So you guys better wanna... buy from her. Buy from I do. Her. In fact, not I, you. I, everybody else. Oh yeah, yeah. Everybody else, especially you just fly through. fly to New York and just buy them. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> but now that I did the shout out, we're the complete opposite. So uh, I know that you've possibly seen some episodes. You know where we pick out a moop, and Fuzz has a moop for us. Mm-hmm. I do. I, I actually do. Um, so I am not a fancy coffee person. I don't drink coffee at all. But my better half, my wife, uh, is very, very big into Starbucks coffee. Mm. So uh, every Saturday, Sunday morning, she asked me to get her. There you go. Exactly. Uh, every Saturday, Sunday morning, she wants me to go get her a coffee drink. And I'm like, yeah, whatever, man. I'll go. I'll give a shit. Well, last weekend, 
I went and I get to the drive through window or the speaker and I order her drink and uh, some type of breakfast sandwich that she likes. Lady tells me the total. Well, first she tells me they don't have make they don't have this sandwich right now. I was like, okay, that's cool, no worries. Um, can I get this sandwich instead? She's like, yeah, absolutely. And then she hammers me with the total, but I'm like, wow, that was really high. But we'll discuss it when I get to the window. So fast forward, I get to the window, and this woman's like, um, we don't have this sandwich. I was like, yep, I know that. <laughs> That's why I substituted the other sandwich instead. And she's like, oh, well, I got to take this off. I was like, that's fine. Well, apparently between her doing that and something else, she decided that it was my fault. Oh, boy. And and this broad got so rude, like instantly rude with me. And I just, like, I couldn't fucking believe it. Because, like, I'm, I'm... I am the kind of person, like, I grew up like everybody else. I had a shitty job at a fast food restaurant. I know what, what happens to people that work in food service. Like, they get mm-hmm. treated like fuck oh, shit. So I have made it my goal to always be nice to people in food service. This this woman, this Amanda, because that's what she oh. into. Amanda. She turned into a fucking Amanda. She oh. got so absurdly rude with me that I was like, how much do I owe you now? And she was like, give me one second. I was like, oh, okay. Oh. Rock on. Ah. You're very upset. Whatever. And then it kind of like ate at my brain while I was sitting there taking her forever to fucking fix this shit. Like, how is it my fault that you fucked up? Like, I ordered shit. You rang shit up wrong. I told you you rang the shit up. Like, actually, I didn't even tell you you did it wrong. I said we already had this conversation while I was at the speaker box. <laughs> so, Starbucks Amanda, you are this week's fucking move. Fuck you, Amanda. Starbucks <laughs> Amanda, you're a move. Dang, girl. You fucked uh, up. Amanda Dude. es una pendeja. She's a hoe. Big hoe. <laughs> what a hoe. Oh, well, well thank you so much. As always, man, thank you so much, Lucy, for joining us. And have oh, thank fun. you for having me. It was excited. fun. We hope that lots of people watch this one because obviously they will because you're here. Yeah, of course. <laughs> Everybody loves Mama Comic. <laughs> ISCP. <laughs> fucking celebrity queen herself. Superstar. Absolutely. <laughs> well, Thanks thank again. you guys so much. And we will see you next week. Yeah. Bye, everybody. Bye-bye.